Oh, damn. Shorty a little cutie coming down the block. Damn. With the great sweatpants. How you doing? Excuse me. How you doing? Get your fucking hands off me. You can't speak, though? Nah, shorty, I'm good. Bum ass nigga. Little clown ass bust down nigga. Looking like a fucking black and mild. Your dick probably little. Oh word. Words like that. That cigarette looking ass, fire pole looking ass, shoe string looking ass nigga. All right. Oh crooked ass fucking mustache. Looking like. What happened? Can't last a couple rounds. My cushy paint, my booty hole brown. Fucking wifey at home. So? Fuck that Go bitch. Get her. If I could, if I tell you how y'all bit. Beat the brakes off you! Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Guys are so kind. <laughs> You already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. For favor. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, doke party people. Welcome back and thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, I'm still going to continue that the culture is trash. The culture is all messed up. We have two teens, quote unquote, teens in Humble, Texas, that have committed a crime. They have shoplifted a bag of chips. Okay. They run off and the clerk was following them before. And the clerk, stupidly, the clerk jumped in his car and followed the people, the teens. He followed the teens. Some words were exchanged. And the teens, quote unquote, pull out and <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay? Killed the clerk over a bag of chips. Now, there was a manhunt for looking for the teens. And... You know, your boy, Quan LX, had to come, come save him and talk him into turning himself in. So they turn himself in. And of course, Quan LX is their lawyer. And he's speaking out for them. And the kids were scared and fearful for their lives. And they even said it was self-defense. These young men are scared. They're worried. They definitely want their side of the story to be told. Now, <laughs> Cornell X is golly. You, you, I hope you paid pretty well for this. But um, so here's the thing with language, the words that they use now. You know what I'm saying? Is they're very careful about how they put out the story. They love to play with the words. And they call these boys teens. All right? Now, once you hear teens, you're thinking like 13, 14, something like that. These teens was, one was 17 and the other one is 18. One of them is damn near an adult, a man. And the other one's going to be charged as an adult. You are warranted for capital murder, sir. You are not 18. This freaking word teen, you know, it's a new age word. You know, it's always for marketing. Kids are from young kids, lads, if you're a boy, into adolescents, and the adolescents into adults. This teen stuff is all, it's just a marketing ploy. And it's for, um, it's really to dumb, I, dumb down our kids. You know what I'm saying? You got kids that I can't wait to be a teenager, as though that is something to look forward to. It's adolescents. Pre, pre adult, you're an adolescent. But no, we like to say these words teen. So the media and Cornell X call these boys teens to keep pushing it out. Every time you read the story, 
you see it on the um on the news feed. They call them teens. One is 18 years old. You're an adult. And then one other one is 17. We got people that's going to war. They sign up for war at 17, 18 years old. They don't call them teenagers. They call them young men and adolescent. But no, they all keep pushing this. Why were these teens walking around with a gun? They wasn't registered. How did they get their guns? Hmm? What, what, why did they feel the need to shoot a man dead over some chips? You went into the store. Somebody put one of the guys, one of the teens put the chips in his person and started walking out. Now, the the store clerk was a for chasing them down. He was an idiot for getting in the car and, you know, following them. Okay. But again, how did these teens get a hold of a gun? You're the one who asked that question, right? You're not going to ask that question. The teens went to the store and put their hoodies on. Again, there's another problem with these hoodies. I wear hoodies for a workout. When I go to the workout, I wear my hoodies. I wear my scully. But then when I'm in the store, I take my hoodie off. You know what I'm saying? But no. Everybody's, since Trayvon Martin and these hoodies, everybody think that hoodies are, are, um, are culture. And, you know, we're supposed to, uh, don't judge people with hoodies. Man, I don't give a fuck. If I'm in an ATM and I see somebody behind me with a hoodie on that's activated, no. the hoodie is on top of their face and the drawstrings are down, I'm going to give you a second look and I might even have to pull out. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what color you are, white, black, female. If a person is behind me with their hoodie on activated, I'm feeling some type of way. I'm not, I'm going to be feeling nervous. I'm going to have to pull out on you. Uh -huh. Okay, so the hell with that damn hoodies is a culture thing and all young black people wear hoodies. No, no, no. That don't, don't fall for that. Don't give me that story. You go to a store, you take your hoodie off. But you were hiding something, you went in there and you stole some chips. And then you shot and killed a man in cold blood. And now you're calling him self-defense. But, you know, <laughs> this is our culture. It's corrupted. It is trash. Um, And I bet you, when they go down and see these parents of these teens, we're going to see who's raising these teens. Who's the 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 primary parent of these teens? And then we have to have a talk about that. Anyway, that's my thought for the day. If you got any value of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. Tell your mama. I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Until next time, I'll see you again. And all you knuckleheads with your hoodies. Get off my lawn.